So, the case study of Mukesh Kumar. <coughs> In our book, it is case study number 16. 16. Mukesh Kumar is the jeweler. He is having one spouse, two daughter and three sons. He purchased one jewelry shop which consideration is paid officially. Nothing to be worried about that. Then he purchased one property worth 7.2 crores in his own name. Source is there. Nothing to worry about that property also. <coughs> then he kept that uh, property in rental things. If the rental is shown into income, that is also not to be worried. Then he bought one diamond jewelry business etc. No issue. Then he purchased one property in the wife name. And 65 lakhs is the value of the property. But it is registered for less. So, here the consideration is true but the property is getting registered less. Now for the recipient, okay, he will be having a problem. And when you give cash, then you should say, tell the source why you are giving it in cash. For example, for example, I will tell you. If I buy a property worth of 60 lakhs, but the seller saying 50 lakhs should be paid in check and 10 lakhs to be paid in cash. And only for 50 lakhs the property will be registered in your name. Guideline value of the property is only 45 lakhs. Market value is 60 lakhs, but it has been registered for 50 lakhs. I cannot say this is a binami transaction because the owner is real, the person buying the property is real, consideration is there, which is more than the guideline value, which is what the uh, authority expects. Stamp duty authority, what they will expect? Guideline value, they will expect. I paid more than that. It is not necessary that always fair value of the property uh, is It's chanceless. For example, if you want to sell urgent, you cannot get the fair value. So most of us, what we are doing, if you want to buy one second hand car, swift car, okay, there is a possibility that you can buy less than the market value, fair value. So it cannot be questioned much. <coughs> Buying a property in the wife name is exempted from the binami transaction. Okay, then. Son is remitting the money from US. With that money, they invest in a property. Son remitting money is not a problem. Okay, to their mom and dad only is remitting. So that's not a binami also. With that money, they bought one property. Here, they paid 30 lakhs short consideration. Okay, to avoid the stamp duty. So for binami act, we will say whenever registered for less consideration, less than the fair market value, we will say it is a binami transaction. Okay, to get marks, we have to tell like that only. See whether we can argue in the court or not, that is different issue. Okay, that is totally different issue. For example, uh, I when I bought a flat for say 50 lakhs, uh, I paid 50 lakhs in check and 10 lakhs I paid in cash niche form. Okay, the market value is 60 lakhs, so I paid 60 lakhs only, but I registered for 50 lakhs. But uh, the 10 lakhs also I withdraw from my bank account only, I gave him. So what is wrong in me? I am having a source, that 60 lakhs is my bank account only. For the 60 lakhs I already paid tax. I paid 50 lakhs in check and 10 lakhs I withdraw and gave him. Can you able to understand? So, I cannot say anything to, uh, custom to prove that uh, only thing what they can say it has been registered than what has been paid for the 10 lakh rupees ke, you did a binami transaction they can say and i cannot go for imprisonment and all fine only they can put <coughs> this is what in onion film you can see sada what she will do she will pay consideration in cash eh? and she will register, she will first invite Vikram for doing this transaction, Vikram will not come, then Vikram will become onion, he will put Sada into the fire and the scene, that karate scene and all will come, no, so that can be linked with binami transaction.
and uh, see in Shankar's film you can see every film has one law if you go to Shivaji film prevention of money laundering converting the black money into white money okay you will root it through FDA because even if you see 56 to 7b local premium they are charging but premium came from abroad they will exempt only domestic they will charge uh. Ademari, if, even if you see FCRA FCRA after Shivaji film they introduced okay because everyone started doing that hey oh idu ruta adavara <laughs> so then donation used to come from abroad okay and uh, so many donation used to come from abroad that money actually indians money it went to abroad through some route okay then color of the transaction will change no that's called layering then integrity we will study that in PML. Next, he is having some business income which he has not shown in his returns, income tax returns. He bought one property in the name of the cook. So, cook is the binamidar, he is the real owner. So, this is the total scenario of the transaction. Now, what they are questioning, they are asking Mukesh Kumar purchased a property in the wife's name whether she is a binami. No, she is not a binami. But if he has paid something in cash so that can be a unknown source kind of so for that value it is can be called as a binami transaction then mukesh has purchased a property in the name of cook rampal that is also a binami transaction next question if i want to confiscate what i will do so initiating officer of the income tax department okay they will send a notice Within 30 days, you should reply and they will get the approval from the approving authority. Then the adjudication will happen. They will attach the property and the administrator will come and keep the LN. So, this is what it is. So, you can go for the next case study.